Hello and welcome to the fourth UGG tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to use UGG Aligns to create powerful and flexible UI layouts. You can use UGG Aligns to align UGG sprites or UGG buttons or other UGG controls to the corners or sides of other UGG sprites or even the screen. So the first way we're going to look at is aligning an UGG element itself. So putting the UGG align on the UGG element itself. So to look at this, I'm going to create a close button. It goes up in the corner of this dialog. So give me a second to make the button. So there we go. I've made the button and already resized it and dragged it right around where I want it to go. Now we're going to add an UGG align to the button. So if you go up and click on the button and scroll down underneath the UGG button script component, you'll see a button that says add align. Just click on that and it will add an UGG align component. Now right now, the button is aligning itself to the screen. You can see over here, the align type is to screen, point to anchor to is the lower left, and you'll notice the button is right now anchored to the lower left of the screen, just like it's supposed to be. But we want it anchored to the upper right of this dialog sprite, which is here, the dialog background sprite. So what we're going to do is go back to the close button, go into the UGG align, change to screen to to sprite because we want to align it to a sprite, and change lower left to the upper right. There we go. Now all that we need to do is because it is aligning to a sprite, we need an UGG sprite variable to align to. So we'll drag that in. There we go. And you'll see now it's aligning to the top right corner of this UGG sprite. So this is almost exactly what we wanted. Ideally though, this close button would be inset a little bit rather than hovering over the corner of the dialog. So all the UGG align is doing is repositioning it. So the UGG align overrides the transform's normal position. So if I try and move this to change the uh, position of the UGG sprite to change the position of the button you'll see it just keeps getting reset and that's because the UGG line is on it. So if you want to use this method putting the UGG line script directly on the UGG button or UGG sprite using this button what you're going to have to do is go into the UGG button script go to anchor and change anchor to custom and then, now that anchor is at custom, drag the x and y values around until your button is in the right place. So as you can see, this method works just fine with a single UGG button or UGG sprite being anchored using the UGG align. However, what if I wanted to anchor these two buttons down here to the bottom center point on this dialog box? Not only are there two buttons, the move button and the awesome button, there's also the UGG text sitting on top of it, awesome and move. If we were to add UGG lines to each of those components separately, it would be tedious to create and difficult to change. Instead, what we're going to do is put an UGG line on a blank game object and use that game object as a parent for everything which we wish to align to that point. So let's make this game object. There we are. Now we have this blank game object. Uh, you'll notice there's no buttons over here that say add align. In order to add an UGG align to a blank game object, you're going to need to go into the UGG window. So I'll open up the UGG window briefly, and
with the blank game object selected here, we'll go down to this align section, go align to lower center, and you can change this align to later. Make sure add as component is checked. If it's not checked, it will simply align it to the screen or to the sprite one time, but won't keep it aligned while your game is running. Make sure add as component is checked, and then click align to screen. And you'll see that an Uggalign script has been created on this blank game object. So I'm going to close out of the UG window. So I'm done click for now. So this object will be the parent object for these two buttons and their text labels. And will help them all easily align to this bottom center point in this dialog. So we don't want it aligned to the screen, we want it aligned to the sprite. And lower center, that's right. Uh, and the sprite that we are aligning to is dialog background. There, so you'll see now the blank game object has a position centered right there. So I'm going to reparent these buttons and labels. And you'll see just like that, they are now aligned to this point. Now you could ask, well, why wasn't parenting the buttons to the dialog box enough to hold this position. Well, in most cases it is. For example, if this dialog box was never going to change size, then parenting would be fine. But let's say we wanted to scale just this dialog background box. You'll see that the things that have been aligned retain their proper aspect ratio, and the one remaining thing that we haven't aligned yet using Uggalign, instead of maintaining its aspect ratio, has been skewed by scaling this dialog box. So besides you know, locking buttons to the corners of screens across different aspect ratios and different devices, Uggalines can also be used to create more powerful, flexible UI layouts. I'm going to clean up this dialog box and align this text rather than having it parented, make this close button actually work, just so that you'll have finished example of what an UG UI layout can look like. Um, so I'm going to do all that and stick it in the scenes folder under tutorials. Uh, so you guys can take a look at that if you want. If there's anything else you still want to know about the UG system, check out our website or send us an email. The, the links to those will be in the description. Best of luck creating your own awesome uh, GUIs.